Bonjour, Fog Dog. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm Bradley Brodsky, uh, former Drake cross country athlete for one season. Um, uh, currently studying in France for the summer. Fog is here in Leo. I took the train over, get a nice jog in, have some dinner, hang out, just have a good time with the homie. All right, we've made it to Lille, France. Uh, caught the Eurostar today, actually. First time ever on the train under the English Channel. Uh, literally like an hour and a half from London, England to Lille, France. Technology. Bradley B-Bone, the man behind the lens, you've just met him. Uh, he, yeah, as he said, studying in Paris. He's caught the train over. We're going to have a little jog. Uh, I'm racing in two days time. It's going to be the pro debut. Uh, the first race is an official Under Armour man. Uh, so looking forward to that. Um, running tonight, just super easy jog. We'll probably do like four, four and a half, maybe five miles. Um, and then we'll get a bit of food. Um, and then tomorrow I'm catching the train to Belgium. Um, meeting up with James Templeton, my agent. Uh, maybe one of the other athletes he manages. And getting a jog in a few strides and then racing in two days from now in Belgium. So looking forward to that, a pretty quick 1500 I hope. It was good. Oh, a lot easier, I thought I was gonna get cooked. Surprisingly, was able to hang on to fog. Good time, beautiful city. Saw some animals that were cool. We saw horses, we saw sheep. Uh, we saw some, some herons. It was, uh, it was a good run, I enjoyed it. I had a great time with my friend. Get a stretch, shower, and then have some dinner. Back from the run, uh, four, what was like 6.8K, 4.3 nearly miles, I think. But yeah, no, lovely little jog out there today. Good to have kind of explore the place. I've never been to Lille. I've been to France twice before, I think, but I was like six, seven. Uh, I was pretty young. Um, but yeah, never been to Leo, so it was cool to explore a little bit. Um, yeah, now dinner time, and then tomorrow, train to Belgium. All right, it's race day, baby. Uh, about four hours out right now, just chilling in the hotel. Uh, I got my roommate here, Tom Staines. Uh, we'd never met before this weekend, um, but it's been going really well. We've had a few interesting experiences, gone out and explored uh, the city here in Courtright, Belgium. Uh, it's been pretty sick. Um, feeling good for tonight. Uh, Elijah Manangoy is the big name in my race. There's a few, there's a few guys who are pretty good. Um, Menango, I think, won the World Champs in 2017, 1500. He's run 328, so he's very legit. I don't think he's quite in that shape right now, but I think he's pretty decent. Um, and then there's probably another six or seven guys who have run quicker than my PB of 338. I'm still obviously on the comeback. This is the, the pro debut, technically, with Under Armour. Um, so looking forward to that. Um, and I'm just going to try and tuck in and go along for the ride and close as hard as I can to try and um, try and run something decent. If I, I should definitely be in low 340s shape now. If I can dip under, I'd be pretty happy with that. Um, anything quicker, we'll see what kind of shape I'm in. But if, if I can go quicker, then brilliant, and I'm going to give it a real crack. So looking forward to it. Off to the track soon. Um, and yeah, should be good. Right, Tom Staines here, uh, the roommate for the weekend. Uh, 145, 800 runner. So in the 800 tonight, uh, how are we feeling? Talk us through it. Yeah, pretty good. Um, I think the pace is going to go out in about 50.5, 51 flat. So I think it's going to be pretty hot. But um, you know, training the last couple of weeks has been has had its ups and downs. But last week's been pretty good. So I think we got a good one. Yeah. Good tonight. Yeah. yeah. Go on, Tom. Slovene aller tijden. Met zijn 1.46.80 van dit jaar in Oslo. Nationaal indoor en outdoor kampioen. Go on, Tom. Go on, Tom. Big last three. Big last three. Go on. Dat lukte dan een van zijn handgoten wel in Lokeren.
08. Yeah. 08 for the win tonight. Uh, talk us through it. How was it? Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, the goal was to kind of go out hard. It's been a long time since I've hit the front and just kind of soloed a race. Uh, so I kind of just wanted to just wanted to do that, go through 400 quick, go through 600 quick, and see why I had the last 200. Not really the result I wanted at the end of the day, but yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Good one. Good good first one out in a while, I'd say. Right, Finn. Uh, 1500 tonight. 352 big PB. Uh, talk us through it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like. Five second PB, it's been a while, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, obviously, coming to Europe, like I haven't been to Europe before, and it was a bit windy and stuff, so that was good. But yeah, it's been a long time since my PB, so it was good to, good to get under it. Uh, 357 to 6, PB tonight for third in the top 1500. Uh, how was it? Talk to you Yeah, great. Foggy, like, um, to break, to come out of this trip with a PB in the 15s, like what I came here for, so it's been three years, um, been through a lot in the last three years to actually get this result so I don't know why I've got like this sense that I want more like want more like you know I thought about staying longer and I feel like there's a lot more there like I've never finished the season so fresh but um you know run a PB injury free you know hopefully build on it for next year so yeah really happy season's best 341 tonight talk us through the race how'd you feel yeah uh 341 8 tonight uh 341 8 8 officially I think so um not a PB, well, three, three and a half seconds off my PB, so um, obviously I didn't really expect to be in quite PB shape, but I'm pretty happy with that, honestly. Like, I was, I was in the mix with a lap to go, and then I think the wheels kind of just fell off um, in about the last 300. I had a few people start coming around me in the last kind of two or 300, and, and by that point there wasn't really too much I could do about it. Um, tactically, I was kind of stuck in a few bad spots throughout. I think I moved up at like 8.50, um, which looking back on it, I probably should have left it a little bit longer. Um, but overall, overall a solid solid run. It's my quickest run since I had my appendix out eight, nine weeks ago. Um, and it was the first one in the official Under Armour kit. So I enjoyed it out there. And I've got at least a couple more races in Europe and then maybe another couple in America when I probably go back next month. So. Um, Solid one tonight, uh, 3.41, looking forward to the next, and um, yeah, can't wait to get back out there. Happy with tonight, reasonably, um, and the next one will be good.